uh, who would you say were the pioneers or the pillars of Indian cinema? It goes way back. I mean, I, you know, <laughs> I wasn't born then. And uh, the people I can remember are far too many. So I don't want to take out names. There's been too many filmmakers that, I mean, I can just tell you people I thought who affected me or films I saw, but I can't say these are the people that are the pillars. Uh, I'm sure if you spoke to directors, you know, who were way back then, they will name names that I can't, but obviously there was uh, Mr. V. Shantaram and Bimal Roy and uh, Guru Dutt, Raj Kapoor, uh, and a lot of houses. You should not forget that there was the sort of S. Mukherjee sort of camp, the Philomalia, and all these studios which did films and the actors were signed on. But those studios were fantastic, you know. And um, you had a lot of the people and then the generation changed. You know, there was a time when you saw Raj Kapoor, Devanand, Dalip Kumar, the trio for a decade or two decades that were just there. And, you, you know, so it's, it's taken a lot of shape. But I think filmmaking goes back beyond, I mean, you know, K.L. Segal and when you actually used to do songs, and the actor was singing the song and they're playing the music. I don't know if you know that. So, you know, you got the mic there and you're live singing and shooting, sitting in a pond or whatever, and there's instrumentation going on. I mean, you know, it's, it's gone through a metamorphosis that's, uh, that's kind of, a, uh, it's uh, been, I don't know how many years now, I can't even, if you ask me how old do you think cinema is, I'll be at loss of words. So, it's been the silent era which possibly had a lot of effect when the sound came in. And filmmakers, I think, we can remember a lot of names, you know, all the great names are all there in front of everybody. We still watch their films on television. 